Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with Almighty Object 268 version 5. It was on sale during the blood markets and maybe assembly store, I can't remember, but it's semi rear tank in the game. It's pretty much Object 268 but with a turret, right? So this is going to be quite interesting stuff. If you are wondering how popular this tank is, this tank is pretty much top 6th least popular tier 10 uh, uh, tank overall which is quite weird thing if you would ask me I do not really think this tank is bad to this level and to this extent not to be played but I believe uh, the main reason why so is because this tank um, simply isn't popular you know uh, players do not really bought it or if they bought it there is a limited amount as an example if we are speaking about E100s there is millions of them right if we are speaking about this vehicle there is uh, tens of thousands and that's about it so let's try to make this beautiful tank work all in all, I treat this tank like a heavy tank in a way, right? I am looking into this vehicle as a um, tier 10 heavy with um, not the greatest armor ever, but I am treating it with a hope that um, it will hit enemies for casual 700 damage in the face, right? This is how am I treating this tank and this is how am I looking into it. Can you snipe with this tank? Sure thing you can. You can snipe with this vehicle, but once again, it's not um, the best thing to do. Since you have a turret, you know, you need to use this opportunity to go in front and to say hello there and to slap everyone, right? I believe that makes sense and that is clear. Um, now, where the gun goes? 750 alpha damage, that's great. Uh, with the hits, you have almost 400 millimeters of penetration. And if you are wondering what 400 millimeters of penetration can offer to you, well, answer is quite simple. 400 millimeters of penetration can offer for you to penetrate 60 dp in the face without bigger problems whatsoever, if obviously we would connect our shot properly. But that's okay, that's fine. Um, I feel like that was the right decision just to try to go for uh, for a snapshot and if the things uh, won't go as planned, well, what can you do? Beautiful. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Frontal mantlet, direct hit, no complaints, no regrets, just shredding the tank like there is no tomorrow and just enjoying uh, the experience, right? That's what we are doing. How about this guy? How are you doing? Beautiful shot. I'm not entirely sure did it went into the turret or did it went uh, uh, into the butt of the tank, but it doesn't really matter, to be fair with you. We are chilling and we are booming right here. That's okay. Soon we are going to get involved here. You can be sure about this. We are just sniffing around, if I can say so. That's what we are doing. We are just sniffing around. How to make more pressure here? I'm aware of that those Artas will obviously target us because we are in the open field and unfortunately there is not that much things what we could do. But in the same time, I am pretty sure that um, we could slap their sniper schnitzels whenever their sniper schnitzels are actually getting spotted, right? That would be absolutely glorious and that would be amazing. And we are preparing our field for this, believe me. We are preparing everything for this. Hmm, that is a rough one. We are going to be patient, obviously. I can see that we are losing this game by quite humongous margin. I am very, very, very well aware of that, but in the same time, not much what we can change about this at this point. Although, look at this, our 277 is making pressure, that is absolutely glorious and that is amazing. And we are going to go together with him, hopefully, fellas, hopefully we can eliminate M60 from the game. And hopefully we can send him straight to the garage. 800 hit points, I mean, I need to be lucky to high roll him, to be fair with you. And as you can see, in this kind of situation, hashtag never lucky. But that's okay, we are chilling, we are enjoying ourselves, and we are having a great time. It's okay. Four, uh, four seconds left, and we are going to reload. Good. This is what we need, and this is what we are looking for. Unfortunately, I'm stunned, but that's okay.
I know. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We cannot complain about this, fellas. I'm telling you, this is this is a good situation for us and we are enjoying ourselves. And now when we have such a beautiful crossfire, we are going to play the game, right? And I mean play the game properly. Uh, there's type 5 heavy over there, 60 dp was uh, 55. Oh boys, oh boys, we are going to have a blast. Meanwhile, if you would pay attention what is happening here, you would notice that Kapaze is considering going up. I will allow him to go up to the certain extent and then we are going to send him straight to the garage. Beautiful. So far we are doing everything properly. Obviously I'm focusing on the game and I'm trying to be successful here, right? Um, but overall, I do not really think we are going to win this game though. That is, that is a bit of the sadness. But it's okay, we have all time in the world of tanks. How about some heat ammunition for this Type 5 Heavy? Or maybe for Waza 55? Maybe? Let's see. Waza 55 full hit points going through the middle of the field. Unfortunately, we missed the shot. That's okay. Not a big deal happens. Sometimes you are not going to hit every and each shot in this game, right? It's okay. Five seconds left. I will go for uh, for seconds and hopefully we are going to be able to slap him. Meanwhile, he's running through the open field. Ooh, very smart. Very, very, very smart. Oi, oi. Oi, oi, fellas. Oi, oi. I mean, only one option how I can imagine doing the things here is we can try to eliminate the Type 5 Heavy from the game. That's what we can do, right? That's, that's what we can do. That's about it. Let's see. Good angle. Good. He's eliminated. Very, very nice. I am aware of that, that was a 55 will... Oh, E3, it's even worse than I expected. Okay, let it be. Luckily for us, E3 just missed his shot, that is okay. Was a 55, he hit us on the move. Yeah, kind of unfortunate. Very, 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 very hard game overall, honestly speaking with you. Why the game is so hard? Um, enemies... He had a pressure on us all the time to the certain extent. Yeah, we had the island, that's great, but we could not uh, move in front and we could not uh, make pressure whatsoever, right? And that is a sad thing. But other than that, I believe we cannot complain. First game, 3.5 thousand damage, 1 point something thousand assisting damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage, this is 5 thousand combined. And I was trying to play the game. It's okay, let's see how the score is looking like. Okay, and we are back. So what do we have? We have 3.5 thousand damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage. I'm feeling good with this performance. Obviously, it could have been a bit better if we would have hit this uh, Vaza 55, but oh well, what can you do? You cannot complain about this, can you? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, in the end of the day, we made 1,000 credits, although we completed the mission. So without mission completed, uh, probably we would, not probably, we would definitely lose some credits. But that's okay. It's only the start, fellas, and we are going to make it work. So let's keep it up. Okay, guys. Studzanki and counter battle. I believe this is quite straightforward. We are going to go into the heavy line and we will try to slap the heavies. Although, if we would pay attention at all of this... We can see there is plenty of the tank destroyers. What that means for us? Well, that means for us it's not necessarily that tank destroyers are going to go into the city. So maybe this is not the best call uh, from our side, right? Beautiful shot to the Rue. We slapped him for 700 in the face and he sent, we sent him to the garage. That is a record of survival um, in World of Tanks, fellas. Solid 30 seconds. He definitely cannot complain about this, but next time he's going to uh, reevaluate his life choices and he will try to figure out does he actually want to go through the open field. Meanwhile, E4. I have no doubts whatsoever that E4 should peak here, okay? I believe it is definitely a matter of the time. So we are going to sit here and we are just going to wait until this gentleman will say, hmm, I wonder who is living here around the corner because I'm pretty sure the things will look like this way. We have a crown wagon in very, very strong position over there as you can see and here you go. This is exactly what we've been what we've been looking for, you know? E4 peaked, minus 700 in the face, that's great. That's what we need to have and that's what we want to have. Meanwhile, now the question is, oh, hi. Oh, come on, Titan, that is just mean. 
That is just mean. That was a perfect shot from my side. Unfortunately, but the gun said no. Well, if the gun is saying no, the gun is saying no. Not much what we can change about this. Oh, ho, ho, two, five, seven. Okay, then, okay. I see how it goes. RNG is not on our side. Which is quite sad thing, but what can you do about that? Not much. Can we eliminate him now? Nice. We can shoot him. 770 in the face. Beautiful. Once again, uh, do I think the gold is necessarily in this situation? Do I think it's necessary to shoot the gold now? Honestly, I don't. I do not even know why am I going with gold in this situation, but it's okay. Let's switch to the standard ammunition and let's see, maybe we can slap this Mr. E4 living here around the corner. If he is still here, right? <gasps> oh, yo, 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 almighty Jack Panzer. So what we figured it out, we figured it out that maybe we do not really want to peek here around the corner, huh? And at this point, if I will peek, I want to have the a, um, gold ammunition as well, for sure. Okay, how are you doing? I mean, if he is allowing us to punish him for free, I am not going to complain about this, believe me. I thought he is kind of looking towards us with his superstructure, you know? That's what I thought, but little did I knew. It's okay. He should come for us, I believe so. And if he will, you know what that means. With a 400mm penetration hits, we are going to shred through the superstructure of this guy without any problems whatsoever. And we are going to be alright. Patience. All we need to do, we need to wait now. So far, this game is very, very nice. I definitely can't complain about this. And we are getting closer to 4,000 damage. One more shot and we are on the 4,000 damage mark. Very, very nice. This is what I want to see and this is how I want to play this game, right? This is what I want to see and this is how I want to play. Let's see. Do we have anyone else here around the corner? This is the question. To be completely honest with you, not really. This is... Uh, what is the chance of this tortoise peeking maybe? Tortoise actually peeked. He spotted me. That's okay. Doesn't really matter, does it? And if this E4 is trying to side scrap or doing something or he will try to do something fishy, we are going to slap him instantly. You know what? I would love to hit this 257. Come on 257, don't you want to peek like this? Doesn't look like he is dreaming about that, huh? I could uh, go for a... Um, Cupola shot in this situation, but I thought, yeah, let's risk it for the biscuit. Unfortunately, that wasn't the finest um, aim from my side. It's okay. It is alright. We got this. Now, let's load the gold. And by loading gold, we are going to shred him literally in the face. I do not even need to aim. I mean, 400 penetration gold is glorious, okay? Uh, we are shredding to, through literally everyone. Every and each Yeve tank or armored tank destroyer, they are going to be paranoid because of this penetration. And even this tortoise, you know? I mean, if I would be in his place, I would say, oh yeah, sure, gold, gold, sure. Whee! That's what I would say. No, actually, I did not complain about the gold ammunition, but I believe you get the point what I'm saying. There is not much what this gentleman could do in this kind of situation. There is simply nothing to do. Apart taking one for the, for the team and accepting your fate. Close to 6,000 damage, beautiful, and once again, step by step, little by little, we are just trying to get closer to the enemies, and we are trying to figure out how we should get a bit more use, you know? This game, I feel like for us, it's like uh, hunting for some use, right? This is how I feel like. How about this? Beautiful shot, very, very nice, excellent. Excellent. Mr. E4 sitting here in the back doesn't really change anything. We should be able to shoot him in approximately 4 seconds or so. 3, 2, 1. Let's take our time to aim for him. And beautiful. 7.2 thousand damage. Look, we are nearly to complete 
Tank Destroyer 15 mission, right? So, obviously, this game is going very, 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 very well for us. We definitely cannot complain about this and we cannot say absolutely anything bad. It's just good game and we are doing the... and we are doing a good stuff. Um, although, I believe... I still need to highlight that I fired quite a lot of the gold rounds, right? And... Uh, um, and that's why, in a way, we are so successful. If I would have spammed significantly lower amount of the gold, uh, that would be uh, that would be a different situation, you know? I would not penetrate that Mr. Tortoise so easily and so on, so on. But that's what we have, fellas. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. Okay, I won't make you wait until we are going to destroy this light tank. Let's teleport to them to the scoreboard and I'm happy with this performance. Luckily enemies made many mistakes and this is what you want with this tank. And honestly speaking, it doesn't look like it is a bad tank, does it? I do not really think it does. Okay, let's teleport to the scoreboard. Okay, and we are back with a solid ace, but that's to be expected considering how much damage we have done and we were spotting for ourselves as well. So solid ace, high caliber. I am super happy with this performance and I think everything went pretty well. Uh, we are first by experience, we are first by the damage, and we got solid profits as well. All those, most of those profits are coming from completing uh, the mission, I would say. So yeah, good, very, very good. Let's keep it up, last game, and let's hope for at least five to 6,000, shall we? Okay, let's go. So, what do we want to do? Tier 9 matchmaking, yeah, I believe that's quite straightforward. We are going to go into the heavy line. We will try to play a cooldown to the best of our abilities and hopefully we will be able to slap enemies in the face. Now, what I haven't mentioned is that armor of this tank is far away from being ideal, okay? Do not expect this tank to be armored as a mouse or something like that, or as 277 or as any other heavy tank, you know? It's not. Yes, the turret can bounce once in a while, but you can still get penetrated straight into the turret as well. And if it is going to be the case, then, uh, you know, hashtag never lucky. And there is nothing what you can do about it. So just accept it and take one for the team. Now, we are waiting. Slowly but surely we are waiting until someone will get involved here. Oh, there is E100. Okay, Mr. T30, beautiful. We got tracking shot, although tracking uh, shot doesn't count it for us, unfortunately. We, in other words, we are not getting tracking damage, but that's okay. Kapaze is having a great time and he's enjoying himself. You know what? More I look into all of this, more I think that we are going to be kind of alright here. Our Kapaze is kind of aggressive. I, I am I definitely need to admit that. But other than that, we are okay. Hmm. This is kind of bad. He blocked us, but it's okay. Accept it. That's fine. And in this situation, we are just waiting for a... Um, for enemies to mess up. Although the chance of enemies messing up in this kind of situation I think is kind of low. Okay, how about other thing? How about if I would take this position here and I would play like a proper heavy tank, you know? Uh, this is brave. This is very, very, very brave decision from my side. But sometimes you need to turn off the brain and sometimes you just need to be brave, right? At least this is how am I looking into all of this. I slapped this guy in the face and I got bigger return. Yeah, I could have expected that. It's okay. Not a big surprise. Not a big deal. That's fine. How about if we would try to slap this waffle? By the way, he is looking at us very, very angry. I can see that. How about this waffle? Hi. And a bit of the positive traits, although I am losing plenty of the hit points here. I think I am just simply making a mistake for trading like this. Yeah, this is this is my fault. This is definitely my fault, fellas. Okay, good. He's down to fartable in this situation. Very, very nice. And unfortunately, E100 is getting involved. How about if I would load high explosive ammunition and I would try to eliminate him from the game? I think that would be pretty cool. 
High explosives on. Okay. We are still booming, fellas. We are still feeling all right. I'm pretending that I do not really look directly to him, but in reality, I am ready to turn anytime. 3, 2, 1, turn, kaboom, beautiful, high explosives uh, worked like a charm in this situation, so I just simply did not need it to aim uh, even for a moment, right, that's what I want to see and that's what I'm looking for, meanwhile, we have the Mr. E4 sitting here and we have Mr. Waffle, now, the question is, do I actually want to take my chances to peek against them, you know, because unfortunately in this kind of situation, I do not really think that uh, we have any advantage whatsoever. I would say we have a disadvantage in this kind of situation. It doesn't really matter, it's fine, let's hold it fellas. I could load high explosives for E3, but the chance of us eliminating E3 is probably low. How about still we will try to hit his cupola? How about that? Unfortunately, I missed the shot, but I can always go back. It's not like this guy can simply push in front and eliminate me from the game. This is this is significantly more difficult for him. And you see, this is the moment whenever I would love to say um, our team would kind of lose this game, right? But unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately for us, I am I am just being too aggressive. I am pretending that I am a heavy tank and as you can see I do not have any armor whatsoever. I messed this game up completely. I was just simply too aggressive. All I needed to do um, in order to be successful I needed to hold the line and I needed to be a tiny touch more intelligent. Obviously um, as you can see uh, even whenever we played hold down, this waffle can penetrate us in the face. In other words, this tank doesn't have any armor whatsoever. But you know what? It's not bad to show games like this, with all honesty. And the main reason why it's not bad, so you won't underestimate your powers, uh, and you will simply play safer, if I can say so. So that's fine. Let's see the score. We came back with a victory. What we learned from all of this, you cannot, maybe you can, but you should not be too aggressive with this tank because it's very, very easy to lose the hit points with this vehicle. And even though you have a very, very nice alpha damage, you need to do the smart trades nevertheless. And this game was total fail um, and unfortunate, you know, I was expecting a bit more from the third game, but it is how it is. I'm on the second end by experience and the first end by the damage and pretty much uh, made 20,000 credits. All in all, session was nice. I cannot say the session wasn't good, but that one game, the second game pretty much saved the session completely. All in all, performance is 4,500 damage and 500 assisting damage. Once again, quite a hard session, but that's to be expected. And if we would take a look overall how players are playing with this tank, first of all, we need to realize that the tank is not the most popular, so there is not that many people playing with this tank. And as you can see, number one player, okay, uh, top two players are doing more than 3,000 damage, right? And this is on October. If we are speaking about September, there was a couple of players who did 3,000 damage, but not that many, to be fair with you. Most of the guys are not reaching such a hates with this tank. So do I, do I think this tank is worth it? And do I think this tank is awesome? No, to be completely honest with you, I don't. I think it's all right tank, but nothing extraordinary and nothing more than that. Well, this is only my opinion. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed your daily dose of skill and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.